Hey guys, Clinton here. So uh, just a quick video to show you how you can automate your SMS from a contact form, either in your webs on your website or from your sales funnel. Um, so it's, it's really cool because uh, there are some really cool benefits of using um, SMS in your marketing strategies. Um, nonetheless, um, research shows that SMS open rates are as high as 98%. Um, compared to just 20% from emails. So that is um, a reason all on its own to make sure that you do have an SMS functionality in your marketing campaigns as well as email. Now, I'm not saying that you should abandon email and only use SMS. They both have their benefits. Um, and on average, it takes 90 seconds for someone to respond to a text with 90 minutes to respond to an email. Now, some people are on email at a certain times of the day and some people are on their phones. So that's why it's really important that you leverage both platforms. So uh, my advice is to use both SMS and email. So what you're gonna to need to automate this SMS um, from your sales funnel or a contact form on your website? Well, you are going to need a few things. First of all, you're gonna need a click send account. Um, I use ClickSend to send out all my SMSs, and I'm going to show you how you can do that with ClickSend today. There are other ways you can do it, um, but today we are going to uh, use ClickSend. You'll also need some kind of CRM system, um, so Active Campaign, MailerLite, um, ConvertKit, um, whatever you use. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it on Active Campaign, but the principle will be the same for most uh, email auto responder systems. You're also gonna need Zapier because um, you're gonna have to um, get active campaign and uh, click send talking to each other and you do that via Zapier. And then of course you'll need a contact form on your website or funnel where people can put in their details because obviously once they put in their details, that's when you can send them an SMS. All right, so let's get into it. So here we go. So first of all, we are going to look at ClickSend. So you can go to clicksend.com. Uh, I'm actually gonna put links for um, all of these platforms underneath this, this, this video. So um, you'll have easy access to go in and, and check out these, these platforms. Um, I do have um, affiliate links for a few of them. Um, so I just wanted to be transparent about that. Um, so ClickSend, if, if you go to the pricing, what I really like about ClickSend is you don't need to pay a monthly fee for it. Um, you, only, you only pay um, for the SMSs that you send. And you can obviously have unlimited contacts too. So um, seeing as though I'm in South Africa, I'm going to show you the rates for South Africa on SMS. So if you've got under 2,000 uh, messages you're sending a month, which, which most people will, will, will start with that. Um, you're paying about two cents in dollars for that. So, I mean, it's really, really cheap. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I do really like ClickSend is because of the pricing and also because you don't pay any monthly fee. All right, so what you need to do is just, uh, is just sign up for a ClickSend account. And uh, once you've done that, um, we can get moving. So you do need a ClickSend account, you need to have a Zapier account, and you obviously need to be logged into your CRM. All right, so I'm gonna quickly log into my ClickSend account, um, just so I can show you what you will see here. All right, let's just sign in there. Okay. All right, so um, this is um, the last 30 days. I've spent $9.73 sending 559 SMSs. So as you can see, it, it is very, very cost effective. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you would automate an SMS once someone has gone to your funnel, gone to your website and filled in their details. I'm not gonna show you how to you know, link your, your form with your CRM, you know, that, that, that we can um, discuss in another video. This is purely just to show you how you can automate an SMS once um, someone opts in. Now, what I do is I don't um, use an SMS automation, which you can. Um, if you go into automation here, you can actually automate an SMS. 
um, either action-based, time-based, or contact-based. So for example, if I wanted to um, automate based on a list that I have, so I've got a list of 236 people here, uh, I can do that um, after one minute of them opting into that list. Now, I actually use Zapier to send an SMS and I use it to add them to a list because uh, later on, um, Sometimes I send a bulk SMS to people that maybe haven't opted into our offer yet, haven't booked an appointment. Um, so you can do it one of both ways. You can do it the way I'm going to show you, or you can just build, build an automation. And when someone um, gets added to that list, um, this automation will, will fire and it will send them an SMS. And then the action, um, you just add an action and that will be an SMS. Okay, so if we go, you know, if we just type in SMS, um, you know, like that test, um, if we save that. Um, that 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 is the action. If we if we add another action, we can go test two. And then yeah, you you can you can obviously select the action that you that you want. Okay. So I'm not going to show you that way. I'm going to show you another way. So what I like to do is as soon as someone opts in, I like to wait for, so let me circle back quickly. So when someone opts into any, any offer that I have, I send them a discount voucher, a thing that they've opted in for, I send that to them straight away. The chances of someone looking at that email right away are very small. So what I do is I wait 15 minutes and then I send an SMS. And the SMS say, says that, you know, um, thanks for opting in. Um, don't forget to check your inbox because your, because your discount voucher is there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. The reason I do it after 15 minutes is because you don't want it to seem like it's an automated SMS, even though people will probably know it is. Um, so I don't send it right away. You know, I'll just wait 15 minutes and then that's how it gets sent. So what we do is, first of all, I'm going to take you to my active campaign um, account. And let's go to, okay, so I actually have two different lists, even though they have the same people on. Um, I have two lists and you don't have to worry about you know having duplicate contacts because if it's the same email address um, active campaign won't duplicate the contact so I have a list of people that opt in and then I also have a list of a um, click send with the 15 minute delay so this is just any list I've linked um, my opt-in form on my funnel to this list so everyone that opts in will 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 appear on this list and then I've got an automation that puts them on this list after 15 minutes so we're going to go to that automation first all right let's wait for it to load okay let's just go to the automation rather <laughs> and not the contacts all right so I've got an add to click send automation going so I showed you those those two lists. One was this is the list. So if someone subscribes to my list, um, so that is if someone puts in their details for the for the offer in my funnel, they get added to this list. We are then going to wait 15 minutes. As I said, I do like to put a 15 minute delay on on all SMSs, and then after 15 minutes, uh, they get subscribed to the list that is my click send list. So that means that once these people appear on this list, after 15 minutes, they will get subscribed to another list, which is my click send list. And the reason I do that is to fire off that SMS using Zapier. All right, so once I've created that list in Active Campaign, I am then going to go to Zapier. All right, and we're going to go to Zaps. I'm actually going to create a, a new zap just to show you how it works. This is the zap here, but let's just create a new one. Yes, we will continue as me. So 
So I hope all this is making sense. If not, um, feel free, free, feel free to leave uh, comments below this video, and I'll, I'll I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from active campaign because now we've created that list for click send and active campaign. All right, so it is this list over here, um, August offer click send. The trigger event is when they subscribe to a list, a new contact is added to a list. Okay. I'm just going to select my account. Okay, and then we're going to just choose the list. So as you can see, it's going to be this August offer clicks in 15 minute delay. That's the list that I want, um, I want Zapier to look at and the contacts on that list. All right, do we hit continue? All right, we can just test the trigger. Okay, there's a list there, there's a contact there. I don't really want anyone to see contact details. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're gonna, we're gonna link it to click send SMS. And again, you do have to have an active click send SMS account. Um, there is, and then you'll get an API key and you link it to API, you'll link your API key in uh, Zapier. Um, if, again, if you want me to show you how to do that, just uh, comment below this video and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so what we're going to do, the action is we're going to send an SMS and we're going to click continue. All right, so I'm just going to choose my account. All right, now, as you can see, I know that this SMS is gonna be sent 15 minutes after someone opts in because the list I've chosen in Active Campaign is that 15 minute delay list. Okay, so I'm not gonna, when you type two, um, it, will, it will pull up um, contact details um, that have pulled from your, from your CRM. So all you're going to do is you're going to select the phone number field in here. I can show you here. I don't really want to. Sh you know, there's the phone number there, so that's that's the one I would select. Then you would type your message, and you can even use um, dynamic fields. So, like, you can say hi, and then first name. Okay. Um, they've obviously put the email in the first name, so that's how you can use dynamic fields. But you can say hi, um, whoever. Um, Please check your inbox for or discount voucher. Feel free to contact us with any questions. And then the X, Y, Z team, just so that I know it's from. Okay. Um, you don't have to worry about schedule. If you are in South Africa, leave the from field blank. Um, it will use a a generic number, so it won't be a South African number unless you want to pay for a number. So with click send, um, you can actually pay for for an outgoing number. Uh, if you want to do that, you can. If you don't want to pay for that, um, just leave the from field blank, um, and then um, it will send it from a generic number. I'll just show you. Um, SMS if I go to history you'll see the from number is a plus six one number so that's um, that's where that's where the SMS will actually come from so just leave the from field blank um, a custom string you don't have to worry about that and you don't have to worry about the rest so really all you need to do is put in the number and put in the message and hit continue Okay, um, obviously this is this is empty. I haven't put a number in, so it will obviously bring back an error. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, okay, uh, we can just skip the test. So now what you want to do also is you want to add them to an SMS list because in the future, if you want to market to these people via SMS, you can do so. 
Um, if you're just doing it this way, it's all it's going to do is it's going to send an SMS. It's not going to create a list of these people. Um, it's just going to send an SMS. So what you want to do then is you want to add another step to Zap now. Just bear in mind, if you are using the free plan on Zapier, you can't add multiple steps. You can only have a two-step Zap um, unless you're on the free trial. Um, so if you do want to add multiple steps, you do need to upgrade your Zapier account. So we're going to use click send again. But instead of sending an SMS this time, we are going to um, add them to a list. Uh, create a contact list. Yeah, create a contact. So create a new contact in a list. All right, so hit continue. And then we just select our account again. All right, and then you're going to select the list. So you do need to create a contact list in, in Click Send first. I've got a list there already. So let's say I wanted to add it to that list. I can just select that. And then again, you can, you can pull through the contacts details here, name, last name, phone number, and email. It will dynamically pull through from your, um, from your CRM. As you can see, if I go to my CRM, it will pull through those details. So that's how you do that. And then once you're done, you can just hit continue. It's going to give me an error because I haven't chosen any, any um, details. And then you can just, we'll just skip this test. And then that is your um, zap done. So it's going to be a contact that arrives in your list that you created um, for ClickSend. It will then send them an SMS, um, an SMS of your choosing, whatever you want to write in the SMS. And then after that, we will create a contact in ClickSend, which will add them to a list. So as you can see, if I go to my contacts, And you can see this list has got 236 contacts and as you can see it's got their name, their mobile number and their email address. So, so that's how you create uh, a list in ClickSend. So later on, as, as I mentioned, you can market to those people. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope this has been valuable. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to um, write a comment below this, this video and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, don't forget to, to uh, subscribe to my channel um, because when I do release uh, new content, you'll be the first to know. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it added value and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.